Anxiety yet again in the Fort Hood community. A false alarm sent word of an active shooter at the Central Texas Post today. Officials say there were no shots fired, but an active duty soldier was taken into custody after making homicidal threats towards his leadership. KXAN's John Engel reports the news was little relief for those still seeking answers. There's major anxiety. There's, you know, are they, they're saying, are they next? Jeff Kagan has friends here at Fort Hood. He and the Watchmen Texas group are hosting a peaceful protest here on October 2nd and 3rd, exhausted by the spike in deaths, disappearances, and reports of sexual harassment. And every single week, something has been going on, and it's ridiculous. I hope that people start to realize that this is a human issue, that this is a command issue, and this is a military issue. An independent civilian committee spent the past two weeks at Fort Hood looking for answers. Even after the senior commander was removed, more questions remain. Why Fort Hood? That's the big question. Why Fort Hood? Congressman Henry Cuellar is among those leading a congressional investigation into Fort Hood, where 28 soldiers, including Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen, have died this year. It looks like sometimes the threats are not only foreign armies, but they're internal. Cuellar says answers must come quickly, and after that, change. It ain't going to be solved by anybody from the inside. It's not going to be solved by anybody from upstairs. Because it is a military issue. Everybody's hush hush. John Engel, KXAN News. This weekend, a congressional delegation from Massachusetts will be visiting Fort Hood to meet with service members and review the Army's sexual harassment program. They will also pay their respects at the Leon River burial site of Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen.